Hey guys, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. As a lot of you know, I did endocrinology research, pituitary research for a while. There are, to my knowledge, um, three or four causes of low testosterone. If you're not asking your doctor why you have low testosterone, you should. Is it pituitary? It can always be an option if you've ever had a loss of consciousness event or a car wreck or traumatic brain injury or anything like that. You gotta make sure that your pituitary is functioning correctly and putting out enough LH and FSH. If, you're, if it's not in your testosterone, so it could be a problem. Is it genetic? Like MTHFR, does it cause a hypogonadism because of lack of B12 folate, pantothenate, and other supplements like that. Without the right input, you're not gonna get the right output. This is like computer programming. Making testosterone or making any hormones requires the right supplementation to be absorbed at a cellular level. That's number three. Is it a nutritional issue? Or is a nutritional issue really caused by genetic problems not allowing you to absorb or manipulate key vitamins at a, at a cellular level? We always do a spectra cell comprehensive micronutrient panel to evaluate that process and see what's going on with B vitamin levels and other things. It's not age related. Sorry, it's not usually the problem. I've seen an 85 year old with a level of 1250 on his testosterone and no, he didn't have any testosterone producing tumor. I've seen lots of guys in their 60s and 70s with normal levels, but statistically, most guys get nutritional issues, whether genetic issues or trauma issues catch up with them uh, by the time they get in their 50s, 60s, 70s, or even 80s for sure. But I've seen lucky humans who have perfectly normal testosterone levels of above 1,000 nanograms per deciliter and are happy and look really young and just doing really well. They're just immortal. My thoughts on it. Hope that helps. This is Dr. Dan Purser. Thanks. God bless and go to good health. Fasting is amazing. When I talk about my, my uh, process of fasting, it means you can drink all the water you want during that time. Um, and should, because uh, you'll, uh, you'll get really thirsty while you're fasting. I do 72-hour fasts on a somewhat regular basis.